Hello everyone. Today uh, we are going to learn how to create a searchable dependable drop down list. As you can see, it has a list of all the names which are residing to respective state. Suppose I want to search something like that OLU and uh, it will give me the list of all the uh, person's name which have the OLU inside their name and will populate the character uh, state that particular person residing to which state. But how to create it? So let's learn. So I have one small list where I have list of residents and the respective state name. So this will be my search box for initial training purpose. Let's see how it will help us to do this. So suppose I mentioned an uh, OLU as I shown in earlier table. OLU I want to search among this and populate the respective names in this drop down. The first functionality which we will use is a search in which I want to search this one. Let me freeze it in this text. Let me freeze this one also. And it will be uh, what is start number start number is from the first character or the second character which I want to search it. So let's uh, uh, by default let it will take from the leftmost first character. So I will not put anything and just I will enter. So as you can see 10 is came that when if you count from the left side the 10th character is the OLU. But now what is there it will not work because has value and that all things coming we have to populate some character true or false. So that's why I will use is number that means populate true and false for those which have value true for having value false for not having value. So as you can see this is populated with true because this have this value and if I want to put ad let's see yeah it's changing and it's populated. Now what is there we are searching the value from this cell but this is not our exact where we want to see main entry will be done here. So what we will do we will replace this one with this and freeze it. So all are true because blank is there. Now if I want to put here O L U it will change accordingly. Okay. Now next what we want to do we will uh, want to populate the list of person having this uh, value. So let rename this data validation inputs or you can name as per your relevance or easiness. Now what we'll use the term filter. Okay. Filter what? I want to filter this array. Uh, let me yeah. Now next what is that? This is my condition. This is my condition, nothing to do. Uh, already the condition is defined. Now if this condition doesn't match, then I will find that not found. You can write it or anything else what you want. You can populate it. So as you can see, that gives all those names which have OLU. If I put AF, let's see this is changing or not. Yeah, it is changing. Now next thing is there that this one should come here as a drop down. And this should be in a sort. First, let me sort it. So what we'll do? Let's sort this. So what happened? This came in a sort, sorted manner. The alphabetical order is sorted. Now what happened? Here we are inserting, but I want a drop down. So what we'll do? Just go here. Go to data tab. Go to data validation select list go here select the cell which has a formula that piece of here we have written the written the formula so this uh, front of that put a hashtag so what will happen it will create a drop down okay but suppose i uh, want to change it to so suppose i want to put again ovalu it will pop up an error this can also be eliminated go to here go to same data tab data validation go to error list and from here uncheck this so what will happen if i want to put uh, uh, re it will not populate any error and also it will give a list of this but selecting this will not populate the value here so what we can do 
here I will use the filter tab what will be my array I want to filter which array I want to filter this array because I want to populate the name of the states let me freeze it then uh, we'll go to uh, include what it should include this equal to this and next to it if nothing is there just place it and it should work okay now if i want to change it to another thing so what will happen i can select a respective state will come but suppose this is my list and at the end i reached and entered my name suppose my name is mr x y z and the state of me is tripura and if if i want to uh, search this one in there and if i write x y z it will populate nothing so simple what you can do let me remove this just select anywhere go to here format as a table any format you can take just click it now here now if nothing is there now let me insert a x y z and mention here tripura now if i write here it already came this is the thing which is used thanks for watching